Welcome everyone to the home of finding sweet chocolate Easter eggs within our video games. Well okay, perhaps not chocolate ones, but it's as good as having and finding the real thing, but just on a different level, as this is the Easter Egg Hunter. Number 10. Unsurprisingly and incredibly tucked away like many of Halo's easter eggs was the ability to take control and command a pelican during Mission 8's New Alexandria amongst Halo Reach's campaign on a difficulty of normal or higher. To start off with you one had to take down the free jammers at three different locations including the hospital where a jetpack must be collected. Two after taking down the third jammer you then had to head back towards Club Herrera to in fact the building opposite where lurking on the roof of a small cove was a switch which needed to be activated. You then had to fly your falcon through a particular building which contained an oval loop shape where upon doing so your vehicle would be morphed into a pelican. Number 9 while you investigate every square inch of the Halo series, you do often wonder what you might unearth next. And to our surprise during Halo 3's mission of Sierra 117 at the section of Charlie Foxtrot, you can find a family of cavemen tucked away behind some boulders. Although, as I've said previously, it's more like a family of a caveman, since the face has been replicated on all of the siblings' faces, which is actually that of Marcus Leto, Bungie's creative art director. Number 8 up next is just one of the many easter eggs that refers to the Red vs Blue, the comic science fiction series created by Rooster Teeth Productions, but this one so happens to be my favourite. This particular egg also took place in Halo 3's campaign during the stage of the Crow's Nest. Once the mission was underway, you soon came into contact with a large group of aliens whom had invaded a narrow hangar. After taking them down, the level would naturally continue off to the left, but if you ventured to the end of this storage area, you could enjoy this funny conversation. Hey, open up! Password, please! You gotta be kidding me, what password? The password so we don't open the door for brutes. Do I sound like a brute to you? Well, you could be held prisoner by brutes. If I was held prisoner by brutes and knew the password, then the brutes could just force me to tell you the password and you'd open the door for them. Okay, well now I'm definitely not going to open the door. But we need ammo! Well, why don't you go ask your brute buddies then? Number 7. There have been various legendary ending cutscenes throughout the series, but the one that tickled me the most was discovered in Halo Combat Evolved. Yes, the final and tenth level names of the moor was where the egg laid, but firstly you had to travel throughout the wreckage of the Pillar of Autumn to set off a chain reaction that would eventually destroy Halo. And after tackling this on a setting of legendary, you were treated to this small but amusing conversation. Come here, you mother bummers! Oh, this is it, baby. Holy. Number six. Next, we travel on to Halo 2 for a nice, friendly game of football. Yes, that's right, a football could be found within the level of Metropolis, and there were several methods on offer to achieving this. The one I used meant you had to gather a skull that lay in the mission of the quarantine zone. After you had caught the skull, it would now permit Master Chief to jump even higher, thus meaning you could gain access to a damaged internal structure of a certain building. Once you had conquered the structure, you would then find yourself a football tucked away in the shadows, just waiting there to be tossed off the edge of the building so you could kick it all over the place by yourself, or if a friend was available, you could set up your very own match. Number 5 
At number five is what I have decided to nickname the tale of the three grunts, as included and enclosed within Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2 and finally Halo 3, Bungie hid away three different easter egg grunts. The first of which being known as the thirsty grunts located on the final level of Halo and then there was the cowardly grunt carrying in the corner during Halo 2 stage of Uprising and what is known as the final grunt well he was located on the final mission of Halo 3. My best loved grunt though of them all would have to be the thirsty grunt. Number 4 One of the toughest and most complex secrets to be unlocked is stored in Halo Combat Evolved and it's crazy to think that this was even found. When the game gets underway you had to guide Master Chief through a series of steps including 1. Standing on some containers for a short amount of time 2. Meet up with Captain Keys 3. Take down 3 grunts 4. Grab an assault rifle 5. Shoot down Captain Keys which then in turn alerts a bunch of guards that step out from behind a door which is normally locked and if you're lucky enough to pass through it you could also open another door that leads you on to the letter M that has been carved from bullets and decorated in blood thus you have witnessed the legendary Meg Egg oh and this also has to be done on the legendary setting number three Sometimes Easter eggs are just a case of observing something and they have the ability to wow, thrill and interest you and sometimes Easter eggs come to life and become incredible activities. So what might I be referring to here? Well, welcome to Reach Racer. Reach Racer is an easter egg from Halo Reach and is unlocked by hitting two hidden switches that need to be hit at the exact same time by using a second player. Upon doing so, Reach Racer is born, allowing two players or more to race each other on a course that finishes at the sword base. Number 2 Possibly one of the most elaborate and extensive easter eggs I have ever seen in a video game features on Halo Reach's level of the package and would be known as the Tribute Room. As Bungie was saying farewell to their beloved series, one of their final hurrahs would be a room that was littered in shout outs and easter eggs new and old including Bungie's 7 step world domination plan. To gaze upon all of this treasure required having to take on this mission on a legendary setting where you defend Halsey's lab from the Covenant forces. After completing that objective you then needed to locate a rather hidden switch that practically lay out of bounds on the map, making it rather difficult to activate, but after pressing it you could progress onto this amazing feature. Number 1 The Scarab Gun, the weapon that is more or less shaped like a plasma rifle, but of course it can generate the fire and energy power on a gigantic scale and is based on the primary weapons mounted on the Type 47 Ultra Heavy Assault Platform, known simply as the Scarab. Grabbing one of these weapons for yourself could be conquered in one or two ways and the way I took to the task was to carefully lure and hijack a banshee which required patience and a good hour or so of your time but boy was it worth the wait and with that I will leave you with some footage of this godly weapon and my number one halo easter egg as this is the easter egg hunter Cracking out. Coming soon on the Easter Egg Hunter.